Hi everyone and welcome to Bluebeam Review. I'm Ariel with Digital Drafting Systems and today we're going to be discussing signatures, stamps, and certifications within Review. We can find our signatures by going under Tools and Signature and we can immediately create a signature field and sign it by clicking the Sign Document button right here. If we certify our documents, the difference is that a signature doesn't have to be placed in the document and instead your document will have similar properties. It can be certified, it can be locked to prevent editing, and it can be sealed. However, in this case we're going to be signing our document instead so that we have a visible signature on the document. Here on the left side I've opened the Forms tab, and here you can see a lot of information for forms if you needed to create that. In this case we're going to be using the dig Digital Signature Field button. This is a little different from the one up here because this will just create a field instead of automatically signing the document. So we can give this field some information. Let's call it the author approval signature. We can have it visible or it could be hidden so that it doesn't print, etc, etc. In this case I want it to be visible so that other people see this. It could be read-only if I wanted to. In this case I would like people to sign it immediately so it doesn't have to just be read-only. I can make it required and I could lock it if I wanted to. Now I'm ready and you can see that my cursor has changed to a little crosshair. Let's pan down here and let's put our signature right around here. So in order to get this signature ready try and click away from it a couple of times. Notice that the icon is changing. Also press escape until your cursor reverts back and you'll see that the field now looks a little different from when I just made it and when I mouse over it my cursor is now changing to the sign cursor. So this is a good sign <laughs> no pun intended of course because this is a similar symbol to the uh, button right up here. <coughs> now we can sign this document. So what you'll need to make a, a digital signature is a digital ID. I've already made one, but I'll show you the process of making your own. All you have to do is click on New, and you can either browse for an existing one that you made in previous versions of Bluebeam, you can make your own, which is what I've done, or you can wait, make one through the Windows Certificate Store. In this case, you can just make your own digital ID right here through Bluebeam. You need to populate your name and email address, that's mandatory, but the organizational unit and name is not. Then when you're ready, create a password for your signature, confirm it, and then click OK and now your digital ID will be ready. Once your ID is ready, you can then either choose a, to make it a digital signature or a document certification. If you change it to document certification, then you have a couple of extra options here that will now be available. You can allow changes after the, the certification, you can allow people to fill in the forms, or you can even allow them to have more leeway and make markups. In this case, we're just going to sign this document you can choose a reason for signing and I'm the author of this one so I will use this criteria I can also give it a location and contact info but that's not necessary and here's the appearance of our signature I can choose who is going to sign it and I can edit the appearance right here the title is here instead of using the generic blue beam uh, background I can now import a file of my own choosing, whether it's my stamp or my seal, if I was an engineer or architect. I can also have more information down here, such as distinguish name and reason. In this case, I'm going to be signing this with just my name, and then I'm going to import my own stamp or seal and put that next to my signature. So here, now my signature is previewed. Uh, before signing, you have to log in. I've already logged in recently, so make sure that you memorize your password, log in, and then your preview will appear down here. If you don't see a preview, that means you just haven't signed in with your password yet. Now we'll click OK. And what this does is, it's now going to make a copy of our previous file. So we'll call this one Signed. Now you'll notice that it's opened the new file, the old file is now not open anymore, and this file is signed. And what this means is that now the file has been locked in, in a way. You, I can still make markups if I wanted to, but that will invalidate the signature. Now let's put a stamp on the document. We can go to Tools and Stamp, and there's many stamps and seals that have already been made by Bluebeam. If I wanted to, I can make my own custom stamp, or I can import my stamp from uh, either an image, even from a CAD program, and you can convert your CAD uh, stamps that you've made in DWG into an image file and then import it that way. For this purpose, 
we will use the seal that has been made by Bluebeam. This is actually a really nice seal because it comes at a set size and it also automatically sets the date of whatever day it is. Today is the 3rd of July. And so here, this seal is now ready. I can now move it so that it is barely touching this signature or I can even move it right up here so that the logo is touching it. This will allow the seal to um, have some weight. And now I can populate the seal with uh, markup information. I can uh, use the typewriter and write some information here if I wanted to. And that is the essentials of uh, importing a stamp, creating your signature, and the difference between signatures and certifications. Now you can see, for example, that if I go to my drop-down, I cannot certify this document because I've already signed it. And just to make sure, I can always validate my signature. And this will automatically pull up the information online to ensure that the signature is valid and up-to-date. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more videos about Bluebeam Review, please visit our website at ddscad.com. We hope you have a great day.